In this video, let's talk about Jay-Z music career and him making great investments in business and as a businessman to get his net worth to 2.5 billion as of now. So before starting this video, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for future updates. In Omaha, Nebraska's Hollywood restaurant, two odd lunch companions sat down nine years ago. One of them, Warren Buffett, frequented the place. Jay-Z, the other, wasn't. The two men struck up a friendly conversation as the rapper ordered strawberry malts and they returned to Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway offices. Then 80 years old Buffett left the performance astonished by the musician, who was 40 years his junior. Jay is teaching in a much larger classroom than I'll ever teach in. He is the one to look up to as a young person growing up. His particular instance, which we first documented in our 2010 Forbes 400 package, demonstrated that Jay-Z already had a plan in place for building his own 10-figure fortune. According to him, hip-hop has always been aspirational. Less than 10 years later, it is evident that Jay-Z has amassed a wealth that, conservatively, totals $1 billion, making him the first hip-hop artist to achieve this milestone and one of just a select few performers to do so. J Kingdom Z's is vast and continuously expanding, it includes alcohol, fine art, real estate homes in Tribeca, the Hamptons, and Los Angeles, and investments in businesses like Uber. Given that his journey began in Brooklyn's infamous Marcy housing complexes, it is all the more astounding. Before to creating his own record company, Rockefeller Records, to release his 1996 first album, Reasonable Doubt, he was a drug dealer. Since then, he has accumulated 14 no. One albums, 22 Grammy Awards, and more than $500 million in per tax revenues. Every young rapper aspires to create a multi-billion dollar business. Jay-Z completed the task. It took Jay-Z much less time to turn his rhymes into a billion dollar net worth after spending more than a decade just starting his musical career. How many musicians grew up alongside us is fascinating. In the days of boom boxes and house parties, we were first exposed to musicians like Puff Daddy and Missy Elliott. To give our drained minds a much needed rest, we danced on the weekends and watched music videos in our dorm rooms. But there are many other types of artists who have actually endured the test of time. They are also entrepreneurs. Not only do they have platinum and gold records, but multi-million dollar empires. Sean Carter, better known as Jay-Z, is quietly holding one of the top positions for musicians who have become successful businessmen. When we were in college, Jay-Z may not have been seated next to us in our business classes, but he undoubtedly understood how the business world operated. In Brooklyn, Jay-Z was mostly reared by his mother. According to his own interviews, he resided in a housing project, peddled drugs, and was repeatedly shot at. But, despite obstacles and severe sufferings, Jay-Z discovered a way out of poverty. I believe it was because of his own grit and perseverance. Our ability to seek for a lofty objective is fueled by our determination. We discover all too frequently that a fixed perspective may keep you in one spot or on one course, even when it is unproductive. According to me, Jay-Z is the ideal example of the growth mindset's effectiveness as defined by Stanford psychologist Carol Dweck, Paywall. Jay-Z worked on his craft and his relationships while he was a high school student. With rappers notorious B.I.G. and Buster Rhymes, he attended high school paywall. He made a connection with Jazz O, an industry mentor, and gained experience by performing on a handful of jazz records. O.S. he worked with Yaw Rule, DMX, Big Daddy Kane, and Dog Graveyard. Yet it took some time for him to make in my lifetime his first official song. Jay-Z sold a CD from his car even back then. Success necessitates effort. Yet exerting oneself while sitting in an office hoping for praise is rarely the best course of action. You want the network as well. Be assertive while establishing connections and create the kinds of bonds that survive across a variety of professions and way of life. Even after achieving success, Jay-Z continued to be adaptable and growth-oriented. He modified his approach. He switched manufacturers. Jay-Z then sized up his model. He transitioned from albums to TV appearances. 
he unveiled a clothing line. He joined the 40 out of 40 club as a co-owner, and despite not having a formal education, became a co-brand director for Budweiser Select. He entered the world of sports, video games, and other endeavors. He continued to expand, although it seems that all of his endeavors were related to his own goals and his lucrative entertainment business. Teachers make up a number of the most prosperous business entrepreneurs. They impart what they have discovered through guidance, education, and gifts of their time and services. Through the freshly opened Rock Nation School of Music, Sports, and Entertainment, Jay-Z, who has mentored a number of music artists, is sure to assist countless more. He co-founded a nonprofit with his mother and penned a book. That's it for today. We hope you found our video interesting. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and share it with others. LSO, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to our channel. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our new uploads. In the end, thanks for watching and see you next time.